And if you've been following along with WSAV's holiday hope events, you've seen the thousands of toys collected this year in our area. But where do they go after being donated? WSAV's Meg Porterfield has all the excitement from a special donation event today. Well, I'm here at the Salvation Army Community Center, where after thousands of toys were donated from multiple different organizations, over 1,800 children from families in need will have presents under the tree this year. Bags of hand-picked toys, games, and bikes filled the gymnasium, but the families that came to collect were greeted by an assembly line of volunteers ready to spread the holiday cheer. When you're trying to, to get toys together for 1,800 kids, plus we've got some teenagers that we're doing gift cards for, it's a process, but when it all smoothly comes together and the Lord blesses us with such a beautiful day, it makes it all go smoothly. The children in need are set up to get adopted by an angel who will buy gifts tailored to their interests. But for those who don't get adopted, Holiday Hope makes sure they still have presents to open. One of the things that I love about Holiday Hope is they collect all of these toys and they are able to provide us with just shipments full of stuff where we'll fall short in the toy shop because not all of our children get adopted. So we depend on that toy shop and those toys that are donated. And with all the pieces of this huge effort coming together, feelings of gratitude. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of hard work to prepare for this. Folks at Holiday Hope and others uh, bringing in donations and toys to get ready for all that we're doing. But it's absolutely magical. Volunteers say that in years past, they aim to give each child at least three gifts, but this year they were able to give five. Meg Porterfield, WSAV News 3, on your side. Now